Good morning, it's travel day. I'm here in Providence Airport and I'm traveling solo today. Uh, left the kids at home, left Paul at home, and I'm off to Disney to learn the new Lightning Lane multi-pass and Lightning Lane single pass with a colleague of mine, Kayla. So I'm super excited to meet her down there. Um, this morning when I pulled up to the airport, the security line was so long. I literally pulled up, I could see it just from outside the airport door and I was like, oh God, hope I make this flight because I didn't give myself a lot of time. And as I got closer, I noticed that TSA pre-check was in fact open because initially I thought maybe it was closed. It was open, I walked right through security, there wasn't a single person in front of me. Made it through security without them checking my bags at all, which if you know us, we're always searched. We always take forever to go through security, so that was kind of nice. I feel like I hit the jackpot this morning. Uh, traveling light, I have my backpack and just my Samsonite carry on this trip. I'm going for three days, two nights, just a quick little trip. We're gonna hit Hollywood, Epcot, and Magic Kingdom. So follow along and let's see how this new lightning link works out. guys I made it I had the smoothest morning ever I told Paul I should probably play the lottery today so right after I told you about my smooth TSA process boarding went smooth runway went super smooth literally went sh we didn't even taxi we just went straight to takeoff we landed 45 minutes early um, picked up my car. Usually we wait a good 45 minutes, half an hour in line for the car. I was the only person in line. I'm like, what is going on today? When I have three kids in tow, I wait an hour for everything. My flight's delayed. They take everything out of my bag. Um, so yeah, I'm here. I made it. I'm at Caribbean Beach this weekend. This is actually a moderate that we've never stayed at before, so I'm really excited to check it out. We purposely picked it because both Kayla and I have never stayed here. Um, so I'll kind of just take you along. I'm gonna go get a coffee right now, and then I'll probably sit by the pool and read my book until she gets here. I have about an hour and a half until she should be meeting me, and then maybe the pool, and then we're gonna do the parks later this afternoon, so. They talk about some all the stuff that I don't to show you like the dining options it's really busy right now because it's 9 a.m everyone's trying to get out but we have a grab and go here which is like drinks pastries coffee that kind of thing and then if you want like breakfast um you'd pre-order here and they have a full breakfast menu kids menu beverages pre-order there pick up your specialty coffees here look what I found I'm so excited if you know me you know I'm like obsessed with these honey spoons maybe not so much in the summer but um they're my favorite like in the fall and winter last time we came they were all sold out so I'm happy they have those back I'm gonna check out what 
they have for merch. Oh, these are cute, like the named mugs. I feel like that was like big when I was little. The home decor. Oh, those are ceramic. Those would break in my house. Bathing suits, in case anyone forgot. Swim diapers, key. Studios, because I know for tickets that we sell for Universal Studios, you have to pick them up at will call or print them at the self print kiosk. So that morning, if you're planning on rope dropping, get there extra early, give yourself time to go through security. Um, or if you can, like if you're staying at Universal, just go pick them up the night before, head into City Walk, grab dinner, stop, pick up your tickets. It'll just make your morning go that much smoother. Um, so Florida right now actually has like a set. My friend told me about it. A Sahara dust warning or something along those lines. I don't know if you've heard about it. You could elaborate on it for me. Um, but I <clears throat> can already kind of feel it like in my throat. It's weird. The sky has this like haze to it right now. It almost it almost looks like a really hazy day in Massachusetts. Um, but apparently it's it's that dust storm that's coming through. And like I said, I can kind of feel it in my throat and I've actually heard a couple people, um, like their voice is kind of going and they're like, <clears throat> and at first when she mentioned it to me, I was like, oh, well, no big deal. It was a beautiful morning flying in. Like I didn't really notice it. But now that I've been here for a couple of hours, I can, I can kind of feel it like in my chest. So we'll see how that, how that dust storm goes and see how it plays out through the day. But it is a beautiful day. Um, it's it's probably about the same temperature that it is at home in Massachusetts right now. Um, we've had a really hot and humid summer, so it's probably right up there with, with where we're at at home as far as temperature and humidity. Um, but yeah, I'm just really enjoying like sitting back and relaxing and like taking it all in at my pace and not breaking up fights and corralling everyone and telling them where to go and which direction to head in. It's really kind of nice to just sit here and like put my feet up and go where I want to go. So the room was ready this morning. I received my text message at 937. Thank you, Disney. Um, so I'm here in building number 56 at Caribbean Beach Resort. I'm in the Aruba section, um, which means I'm all the way by Riviera. Um, it's nice because I can hop on the Skyliner. I can also utilize Riviera for their quick service. It's probably closer and more convenient. Um, than going over to the quick service here at Caribbean Beach. So there are pros and cons to every village that you are assigned here at Caribbean Beach. I don't want to say one is better than the other. 
Um, so I'm kind of looking at the bright side. I have close access to Riviera over here and close access to the Skyliner. So I'm excited about that. I'll show you later um, just how close I am just a couple of steps away. Also, another nice thing about this unit that I'm in or this room that I'm in is it's a corner. So I have two windows, so I have light coming in from both sides of the room, which is really nice. Um, just, I'm gonna do a room tour. I'll post it separately from the daily vlog, but I um, just wanted to kind of give you guys like a quick look and see um, what our accommodations are. So we have two queen size beds. We have a little coffee table over here. We have a coffee maker, six straws for us, and um, a beverage cooler down there. Nice size TV up top. And then just your standard bathroom in here. Hi guys. Um, so double vanity, bathroom, uh, sh shower, tub combo in there. Um, so just a quick little look-see at our accommodations for the weekend here at Caribbean Beach. I just want to show you like how incredibly close we are to the Skyliner. So that was the exit of our room. The Skyliner is right there. It stopped at the moment. So one thing to note about Caribbean Beach Resort, there's no elevators. So you do have to um, carry your luggage up to the second story. But look how close we are to the entrance of the Riviera Skyliner. Like, I don't even, I think we might be like the closest room to the Skyliner over here. So that's kind of nice. Um, another pro tip, like if you're staying here you could, at the end of the night, I know the line for the buses are long. Um, you could always just see how, how long the line is for the Riviera bus. Hop on the Riviera bus and then walk back to Caribbean Beach Resort. So that's an option too. I'm going to take a walk and head to the pool, maybe grab something to eat. Um, Kayla should be here shortly, so I'm just gonna like enjoy the sun, read my book, and kind of relax before we hit the ground this afternoon. Today they did actually scan my wristband to come in and give me like a pink wristband. Um, they've never done that before. So it looks to be like they're cracking down on uh, pool sharing and maybe people trying to pool hop. But this looks so fun. As Paul would say, it's definitely a vibe. Um, so I'm gonna take a little walk around and try to find somewhere with just a little bit of shade. gonna do lunch at Banana Cabana. It's like the poolside bar that they have here. Um, it's really cute in here. And it has a view of the Skyliner out there and you're kind of on the little lagoon. Um, it's all open air seating in here and it has a bunch of really good cocktails. Thank you. I'm probably gonna go with the sangria for lunch. And then I'm gonna go with the coconut shrimp. And what did you say you were gonna try? Um, I think I'm gonna get the burger. She's gonna try the jerk chicken burger. And uh, the Caribe beer. The Caribe <laughs> beer? Oh, nice. Right. Caribe. See how lunch is. All right, I got the coconut shrimp. What'd you get again? The jerk burger? It's pretty good. Too. It's got some slaw and pineapple slaw on it. Yeah. So we got a nice little spot here. Just gonna sit and enjoy lunch. So we just left lunch and now we're going to walk over the bridge over to our Aruba village. Um, but we found this super cute little section. 
just like a little relaxing oasis. There's like a cabana over there that anyone is welcome to use. You have a view of the Skyliner as you sit and relax in the hammocks. It's really nicely landscaped over here. It's like lush and lots of pretty flowers and palm trees. Um, it also has seating over here as well if you just want to like relax and sit in the sun. But like, look how pretty. Oh, they might do the movie out here. Oh, something's in the in the bushes. <laughs> and then they have this shaded shaded playground as well. So this is a great spot to like come and sit. They have shade over here. The playground itself is shaded for the kids too. It's really hot right now, so I don't blame anyone for wanting to play or not letting their kids play at the moment. But this is a great spot. And so this little, let's go this way since you have to, <laughs> there's stairs that oh, way. Stairs. Um, so yeah, this is a great little shortcut from the main lobby over to our village. So we're just having a quick little pool session after lunch. Um, we're at like the little mini pool. Um, in the Aruba village. It's actually really nice. I've flown over it in the Skyliner before and I'm like, oh, that looks like kind of sad, but it's bigger than it looks. Um, it's really nice. It's actually really quiet in comparison to the big main pool that we were at before. Um, there's not much shade though. Like if you look around, we were lucky enough to get a table with an umbrella, but other than that, there's really not much shade in this section um, so we're just gonna hang out for a little bit um, it's still really really hot the pool actually was not refreshing at all it was like a warm bath um, but it's nice now that we're out there's a little bit of a breeze and we've got the skyliner right over us but yeah this is a cute little pool right in the Aruba village all right guys, we're showered up and ready. Um, wearing my super cute little ears. They got a little bit bent on me, I'm sad. Um, wearing my new cute little crossbody. I posted it to our Facebook page, I'm obsessed with it. It's um, Disneyland themed, but I'm gonna wear it to Epcot. I love it, it's the big one. Um, and I love the color combo. And then just my skirt. My favorite thing to wear to Disney is Sports and I love the ones with the zipper pocket so I can throw my phone in there and then I know people ask me all the time like how do you walk around in Disney with sandals um, these Sperry sandals are just like my absolute favorite they're my go-to buy a new pair every year so let's go to Epcot all right guys we took our little shortcut over to the Skyliner yeah we're meet my close. friend Kayla hi so I'll give you a little bit of background on how Kayla and I met um, we were set up for a agent education program about a year and a half ago through our agency. Yeah, last March, uh, we both worked for Magic Vacations and we were set up together to attend this agent education program and we just hit it off and became friends and we've kept in touch and seen each other at retreats and stuff. Um, so here we are on a little girls weekend. surface of the sun hot right now. Hi Daisy. Oh I kind of match Daisy right now. I do, yeah. I kind of am. <laughs> so first up we are going to Guardians because we purchased a Lightning Lane single pass for it. We did not purchase the Lightning Lane multi-pass today just because we knew we were going to be getting a late start and we really just kind of wanted to watch the shows. We don't mind waiting in line for like a ride or two. We're just here like for the evening when the temperatures get cooler. So we just purchased 
the Lightning Lane single pass for today and tomorrow we will get to play with Lightning Lane multi-pass. The Halloween is so bad. I, I know. I, the uh, Mickey Ghost is like my favorite Halloween thing. So we have some new Halloween merch. Show me that one. Oh, that would match your bag. Like, Ghoul's oh, Night Out. That's cute, but I wish it wasn't like such a manly cut. Yeah. And this one, Happy Haunting. I love that. And I, I love the Mickey Ghost too. I do. Ooh. Ooh. Goof too. That's the girl's new favorite movie. Is it? These also pop. Ooh, these oh, are like soft, that. right? It's not quite as Look much shirt or long sleeves. She grabs the blue, I grab the pink. <laughs> I'm in pink, she's in blue. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Get out of my head. I like it. Ooh, they have green too. Oh, I like and that tan. Green. That's Those nice. are nice. They feel really nice. They're definitely good quality. We're like, why is it so busy in the store and in the shade when you come out? But it's because it's so hot. People want people want the AC and the shade. We figured it out. Seems pretty busy today here in Epcot. Haven't taken a look at wait times yet, have you, Kayla? Nope. No, we haven't looked at wait times. Like I said before, we really don't care about rides too much today. We're just kinda here just to be here and enjoy and snack and hang out. Um, but yeah, look at these crowd levels. Was no, Kayla was here a few weeks ago for a week with our family. They stayed at Wilderness Lodge and they really enjoyed it. Um, so it's just about our time for Guardians. So we're gonna head that way now. Hopefully we won't have too long of a wait for ourselves. Tequila with a little bit of like vanilla 
frappuccino-ish. Good way to cool off. There's some coffee beans in it. Not gonna eat those. <laughs> Would you get it again? Yeah. yeah. It's more of a dessert drink though. It's yeah. not like a um, all day sipping like a chugger. margarita. It's yeah. not like a chugger. Yeah, it's more desserty for sure. Awesome. Oh, look at that gecko though. behind you. <laughs> what? Hello. Oh. <laughs> Currently melting. Like level 100. Making our way across the world. <laughs> Making our way across the world showcase. Came for Guardians. Guardians broke down 10 minutes before we got there. Still hasn't come back up. Um, so we're gonna request a refund for that since we are gonna head over to Hollywood. We wanna make sure we ride Tower and Rock and Roll Coaster today. And we also wanna get some food. Hey! Hey! Um, so yeah, Epcot was like kind of a bust other than meeting characters and trying that margarita that was on your must try list. Yes. So, and we met Asha. And we did meet Asha, girl. yeah. For her daughters. Um, I feel like a storm is like kind of rolling in. That's another reason why we're leaving because we want to make sure that we hit the Skyliner in case it shuts down due to thunder and lightning. We want to make sure we get to our end point for the night. Um, also, it's not food and wine, so all of the booths are closed. It's really kind of sad not to be able to like snack and drink they around call the Epcot on a diet. Epcot on a diet. When no festivals are going on. <laughs> I feel like this is a pretty big gap between festivals in comparison to like previous years. Yeah, then they started later this year. Yeah, they're starting at like almost a month earlier. Before. Uh, yeah, they're starting to name the stands. What did we say? It starts in 30 days? Just yeah, about? Like exactly a month. It's yeah. like exactly a month from today, food and wine starts. Ooh, let's check and see. Oh, and of course, France is closed too. I'm gonna say, let's check and see what kind of good drinks France has. Oh yeah, they always have good drinks. They always have good drinks. But they're closed. Did you learn how to say trying to beat this storm? storm? It's getting pretty dark and ugly. So there's a flood advisory until 7. Flood advisory until 7 p.m. So we'll just wait in line for a ride when we get to Hollywood if we make it all the way to Hollywood. It looks like around 9 it's going to slack up though. Oh, so that's good. Just in time for Fantasmic. Yes, that would just be a bust of a day. <laughs> oh, wasting money. <laughs> no, we got a refund. So if you can't go on your lightning lane, if it's down and you want to leave the park, um, or you just change your mind and you don't want to ride it, ask for a refund. Go to a guest experience, Blue Umbrella, and ask for a refund. Um, they will definitely refund you. Alright, so we just got off the Skyliner. We're at the Caribbean Beach Hub. And now we are migrating over to the Hollywood Studios Skyliner. And that one over there will take you to the Value Resort, Pop, and Art of Animation. So, Caribbean Beach is the Skyliner Hub. Um, kind of where all three Skyliner systems meet up and then you can pick your destination from there. Photo. It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. 
Mickey's and Mickey hat. It's like, like you can't see me at all. <laughs> yeah, you cannot see her at all in the photo. Oh my god, it's That's so funny. disappointing. <sighs> so I think we're gonna try and get some food now. And then we want to watch Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. What's up with my trips and the hats? <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good laugh. So we just placed a mobile order for Catalina Eddie's. Um, <laughs> I think the rain might be scaring people away because it's very quiet here in Hollywood. Either that or they're <laughs> all at Epcot. Um, we're just um, finishing up our mobile orders and hopefully by the time we get there they'll be all ready for us. Um, and that should leave us with just about enough time to get situated for Fantasmic after we're done eating, but it's cooled off really nicely. We timed it perfectly with Tower of Terror. It rained like just as we were getting inside, it started raining. Okay. And then it must have poured while we were in there because everything is soaked in its puddles. And um, now it's really nice, really comfortable. We tried to ride Rock and Roller Coaster single rider, but the single rider line is longer than the actual 75 minute line. If we did that, we would miss Fantasmic, which is the point we came here. So we're just gonna line up and rest and hang out while we wait for Fantasmic. sum up my first day of taking over the vlog thank you for following along with Kayla and I 
Um, not everything went as planned for us today, but it probably won't for you guys either sometimes. So kind of just have to like roll with the punches sometimes. Play so in the rain. Play in the bit. rain, <laughs> dodge the rain, get your refund if your ride is down. Um, so kind of just give you like a realistic expectations of Disney sometimes. Um, tomorrow we are off to Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow we are going to utilize Lightning Lane Multipass for the first time. Um, so again, thank you for following along today. If you're new to the channel, please um, hit subscribe. And um, if you have any questions about anything or Caribbean Beach or what we did today, feel free to drop it below. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching and safe travels.